how to install Wine Tricks on Pop! OS Linux 22.04. Hi, I'm Paul and I am the lead research technician here at the How to Linux Research Labs and I'm also the administrator of the Pop! OS Linux Facebook group. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so um, you ask, what is Wine Tricks? Well, Wine Tricks is an easy way to work around problems in wine. So if you're trying to run an exe, a .exe file on a, you know, in your Linux distro and you're having problems, Wine Tricks might be the solution to your problems. It's an easy way to work around problems in wine. Okay, it has a menu of supported games and apps for which it can uh, do all the workarounds automatically. It also allows the installation of missing DLLs, a dynamic lint libraries, which is a, a Windows. Uh, I believe it's like it, it's a Windows, a Microsoft Windows thing, since it's basically been running the, a, the .exe files, which are uh, you know Microsoft Windows programs. And it also allows for the tweaking of various uh, wine settings. Okay. Another way of uh, describing what Wine Tricks is, is that it's a helper script to download and install a various uh, redistributable runtime libraries needed to run some um, Windows programs in Wine. Uh, these may include replacements for components of Wine using proprietary libraries and some packages that wine tricks uh, will install may not work with may not work well with older versions of wine so it's always recommended to use the latest version of wine okay so here's my Papa West Linux 22.04 desktop and uh, you can't find wine tricks in the pop shop and through APT, but they're probably going to be they're going to be they're going to lag behind the the current wine tricks release. So the way I'm going to show you is going to get it from you know from the the wine tricks uh, um, repo, or it's going to be uh, from a, it's going to be from a source where it's maintained by the wine tricks uh, people, and it's going to be more um, more up to date than using pop shop or apt those are just going to be uh, lagging behind a you know they're going to be lagging behind the current uh, wine tricks release essentially how how many ticks behind they'll be you know don't know exactly i guess we can take a quick little look here let's take a quick little look and see what wine tricks is uh doing on pop shop Let's see what kind of information we get here. Okay, we got wine tricks here, and there's really no way of. Let's see if there's any way uh, if it's going to have any information here as to what version it's going to install. It doesn't really say what version it's going to install. Okay, so, but more than likely, it's probably going to be behind a, a couple of ticks. And same thing if you use a sudo apt install. Wine Tricks command, it'll be a few, uh, it'll, it'll just lag behind the current release of Wine Trick. Okay? And then we can come over here and take a quick little look. See, I don't know if it's going to install a GUI front end on it or if it'll be just a command line engine. But there's no Wine Tricks entries here at all, I don't believe. Okay, so when we're done, we'll take a quick, we'll take a look here and see if anything's here. But essentially, we want to just come over here and verify first that. That I am indeed in a pop session here. Okay, okay, that's good. And then when we're done, we can check the Wine Tricks version this way. As you can see right now, it's not installed. And again, you can use the APT to install it from the pop repos, but it'll probably be a little bit older. And you want to be on a newer version. It's always better to be on a newer version. That's a good place to start. The newest version of things. Okay. And then we'll check the the, uh, the the version of wine that I have on here. 
And that's pretty much the most current version of Wine. Wine 8.0.2. Okay. Okay, so we can go ahead and install Wine. And I'm going to install it in a manner where it's going to be a global location. So any user will be able to use it. Any user on the system will be able to use it. And it'll, be, it'll put it on the path variable. So it'll you'll be able to use it anywhere in the it, any user will be able to use wine tricks anywhere in the file system. Okay. So back with the first step. Okay. You don't have to CD into the uh, download folder. Um, browsers typically do have the, the the download folder as their default save location. We're going to be using wget to download this shell script, and its default location. I do believe it's usually in the in the uh, the root of the home directory, the user directory. So to keep things, I mean, which is okay, but if you're gonna want to keep your uh, file system, you know, clean and uncluttered, you don't have files everywhere, then either you know uh, make a specific, you know. Uh, folder for uh, for for wine tricks for the download, or just go ahead and go into the downloads. That way, you don't have to create another folder. Essentially, you just want to keep things clean. You want to keep things in folders instead of having loose files on the root of your uh, user directory. And you're going to have to have okay. So um, you know we cd it into the download folder, kind of a fancy way by using the home system variable here but if you just type in your if you just type in CD downloads then it'll take you to the same download folder okay so you're gonna have to use the wget download utility and I have it if you don't you can on a on a Ubuntu pop system you can uh, install it with uh, sudo apt install wget so once you've got wget installed we can go ahead and download this um, this uh, shell script and it will save it in our download folder okay so these are what these two commands here are gonna do it put me into the download folder and I'm gonna download this shell script in and save it in a download folder okay so once you've keyed all that in you can go ahead and enter on that and you can take a quick little look here 200 is always good. That means everything uh, worked out the way we wanted it to. Okay, and it saved it into the download folder, the script. Okay, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and clear on that. Do an LSA. And here's the Wine Tricks executable, the Bash Shell script. You see it's black, which means it's not executable. So the next step we're going to have to do is make it executable. But let's take a quick little look first. You can use the file command to actually verify what kind of file it is. It's a little uh, little uh, cryptic here. Essentially, it's a shell script, though. So that's good. It's a shell script. Some other information here that might not really be very clear as to what kind of file it is, but if you just focus on shell script, that should be enough to give you some idea of what kind of file it is with the file command. Okay. Then we'll just keep it right here, and we're going to go ahead and make it executable. So I'm going to use uh, sudo in the change mode, the chmod command, and I'm going to give executable permissions for all sets, user, group, and other on on that Winetrix shell script. Okay, go ahead and clear on that and go back into the LSA and you'll see that it's turned green that means it's executable so from black to green is what we wanted to do okay now the next step we're gonna do is use uh, sudo and we're gonna copy that from here to this location here USR local bin, bin for binary. This is essentially going to make it, because right now it kind of lives 
in a in a single user uh, state by putting it into the into this uh, folder into this path here. It's going to make it more global. Like I said before, it's going to be it's going to allow every user on the system to use it, and at the same time, it'll put it on the path. It'll put the wine tricks um, executable on the path variable, so you can use it. Not only can every user on the system use it, but they can use it anywhere in the file system that they're in. Okay, so take a look at this sudo copy wine tricks to this location here, this path. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now, let's actually sudo, let's actually change directory and then see what, what, what happened there. Okay. And then we're there. Okay. I should have, we should have looked before to see what was there or not there. And we can see what's there now. Okay, you can see right here actually. Anyway, this wasn't here before. Now it's here in this path. So the, the shell script is actually you know in this a global location okay so I can go back to the home root home Paul that's the uh, home user user root that I'm in right right now and I'm well I'm gonna just use it as Paul there's no other users on this system and I'm gonna use it anywhere in, so I don't have to be in the download folder or in the u user local bin folder. I could use it right here. Okay, so we've installed it. Okay. So let's go ahead and verify that we have it installed. We'll take take a quick little look first. I've seen Wine Tricks uh, GUI programs before. I'm not sure. This doesn't the way I'm showing now doesn't actually give you a, a GUI front end. I, I don't believe. Okay, yeah, it's not in the front end there, so there's no GUI, so we have to just use the cur the command line then. Okay, let's go ahead and toggle through our commands here real quick and get the uh, the version of Wine Tricks. Okay, remember last time it it didn't find it because it wasn't installed. This time it finds it, it's installed, and it gives us the the version number. And as you can see here. 2023. This kind of tells me that it came out in February of this year. 02 February 12, 2023. So we're uh, close to October here. So it's about what uh, eight months or so. So pretty pretty new. Okay, so Wine Tricks has been installed. We verify the installation here. Okay. And there's no GUI front end to work with, so it's going to have to be used in the command line. And let's uh, let's have a little demonstration of um, downloading, of installing a, a package or so. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and use the Wine Tricks, the Wine Tricks command, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a a wine tricks package to install. Let's say I want we want to install core fonts. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Core fonts. Wine tricks core fonts. Okay, we're getting some some output here. Wow, that's a lot of output. It did seem like initially maybe there was a problem, but I I do believe it's actually going through. So, back when it's done. Okay, it took a few moments. A lot of output here. A lot of output that we don't need to go over, but I do believe at this point we installed the uh, the core fonts package, okay, with Wine Tricks. Okay, so we'll clear on that, and we'll go back to the NeoFetch here. Leave you with that. Okay, so that was how to install Wine Tricks, which is a 
a helper for uh, for wine. It helps you fix things in wine, problems in wine. It's a helper script to download, you know, uh, proprietary libraries needed to run Windows programs. So that was how to install WineTrix February February 2023 version, which is the most current version. And uh, you know, we uh, I showed you how to. You know what the pro the steps to take. You know, CD into the download folder. Use wget to download the shell script. Make the shell. You know, check the the type of the if the of the the type of file that 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 it's downloading to make sure that it actually is a shell script file, and then make it executable, and then copy the executable into a global location so that every user on the system can use it from anywhere within the the file system because it puts it when you're installing when you're running the script essentially it's putting the uh, the wine tricks executable on on the path on the system the path system variable so that you can you know run it anywhere in in the file system so you don't have to go and run it from a certain directory or whatnot you can run it anywhere yet you're at any user can run it anywhere in the system so that that's like the best with the most flexibility. Every user can use it, and they can run it from wherever. So that's like the most, you know, that that's like that covers all the bases. It covers all the users, and they can run it from wherever in the file system. So there's a lot of flexibility there. You're not really limiting it to certain users, and only you know running it from certain locations. Anybody could run it from anywhere, essentially. Okay. So yeah, so that was how to install Wine Tricks. February February 12th 2023 version on Pop OS Linux 22.04 okay and um, I am I am Paul and I'm the lead research technician here at the uh, Hada Linux Research Labs and I'm also the administrator of the uh, Pop OS Linux Facebook group on Facebook and I, I want to thank you for subbing you know for subscribing and watching and I, and I thank you for your comments and your feedback and if you have any uh, requests for any future videos or questions about this video uh, feel free to, to make a comment in the um, in the comment section and until my next video thank you very much and thanks for watching bye bye